what is up today we are at walmart for some creatine walmart is like one of the cheapest creatines you can get and it's high quality stuff so it's good it's just as good as any other brand this is the six star brand six star is the first supplement brand that I ever used in my life. So 13 years ago when I started lifting weights seriously, I would use six star products like six star protein, creatine, and um, BCAAs. And you know, this is, if you don't have the option to get the expensive stuff, you can always go to your local Walmart and get this. And it says it's got 80 servings. So that could be, 80 days of use or per serving it's five grams of creatine so that's all you really need in a day but depending also on your body weight you know if you're over like 200 220 pounds around that you can get away with taking like seven grams sometimes even 10 grams but five grams is enough okay so parked up right now so yeah, Walmart's got some good creatine, bro. Usually I get another brand, which is like $16 after taxes. This one was like 25 or 22 after taxes. Not too bad, man. 80 servings, that's pretty good. That is almost three months of creatine. For me, I'm just gonna run it down to like two months two two months about two months about two and a half maybe so that's how long this is gonna last me for 20 bucks that's not too bad so yeah this is unflavored there is a flavored version i don't like the flavored version because it has so many like preservatives and like other things that i don't want to have in my supplements so all my supplements are organic high quality no proprietary blends that's the other thing creatine this one that is flavored comes with proprietary blends and proprietary blends are usually blends of a bunch of different things like random fillers extra stuff in there that you don't really need you never actually know what's in a proprietary blend so try to stay away from those I'd say stay away from the flavored version. It's like fruit punch or something like that. I don't like it. I deal with the unflavored version because then I end up drinking like um like what I have right now. So I still have some of my pre-workout in here that I took before the gym. And it's like kind of diluted, but still there's still a little bit in there. So what I do is I dry scoop it because I don't like to waste anything. Whenever you put like creatine or like protein inside of a shaker cup or something, nine times out of 10, unless you got like a seriously good shaker, which it's hard to come by. <sighs> yeah, like really, like really good shakers are hard to come by. So I always dry scoop it no matter what. I want to make sure I get all my creatine in for the day. I don't want to miss anything. I, Bro, I hate wasting things. You know, it's probably because of how I grew up. So I just hate wasting. I hate wasting things. And as you see, the scooper is not like at the top. So maybe that's because of the price. I don't know, but... <laughs> You are going to have to really look for the scooper in there, man. Like, that's the only downfall that I've noticed with like Walmart supplements, like Walmart creatine and stuff like that. You're gonna have to look for the scooper, bro. I'm like putting my whole finger in there, dude. It's at the bottom of the freaking, it's at the bottom of the container. Oh, man. You don't want to see my hand. Oh, no. Look at my hand, bro. 
It was at the bottom of the container. The disrespect. Okay, so I did not waste anything. I literally just licked my fingers clean from the cre of the creatine. So All right, but yeah. So let's scoop it. And you do want to take creatine with a flavored drink. Something with some sugar in it. You know, whether it may be natural sugar or, well, yeah, natural sugar. We prefer anything that's natural over artificial. The sugar carries the creatine more efficiently to your muscles. So, yeah, get some sugar in there. So, yeah, this is 100% creatine monohydrate powder. Monohydrate creatine is the most researched creatine that helps you bulk up. It will help you bulk up. It'll help you get that shredded look. It doesn't make you bloated, okay? Like a lot of people think that creatine will make you bloated, which it does not. It helps with water retention, which our muscles already have water in it. It's not like creatine magically puts water in your muscles where they weren't there already the water was already there we are already 70 percent water our bodies are already 70 percent water okay so creatine will help you manage that water in your muscles will make which will make you look more full more muscular and it's not like it's just water weight it's not it literally since we are already water that muscle that you're building on creatine is real muscle. It's not just like your muscles are being filled with water and that's it. No, it's it's building actual muscle. You're not going to be like the Michelin man, okay? Creatine is literally the most effective supplement at building muscle. It's the most researched supplement on our planet right now. Creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate is the best that you can possibly take. And it'll help you recover faster from workouts. And it makes you stronger. So when you are taking creatine, you are able to lift heavier. You are able to lift heavier. You are able to push out those extra reps that you couldn't push out before. And also you get mental clarity and other cognitive benefits that will make you sharper and think in a better way. Okay, so there, there's a lot of mental and physical benefits to taking creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate does increase DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which some people think that creatine will make you bald, but it doesn't raise the DHT in your hair follicles. It doesn't raise the DHT in your hair. It, it raises the, the DHT in your body. So then DHT does make you more masculine it makes you gives you more like of a masculine look that would be more if you're like injecting dht like if you took like a dht derivative steroid then yes that'll make you go bald that'll make you like stuff like that you know you're gonna grow an insane amount of hair all over your body your back your everything everything but it raises your dht in a healthy manner not as if you took drugs okay so you're not don't expect to start looking like a guy if you're a girl don't expect to start looking like a guy no but your body is gonna get like really nice so for men you will get that stronger look you'll be able to build the exact type of muscles that you want to look well for your body okay and what i like a lot about like women that take creatine is when they really start to work out and go ham, you know, girls start going crazy at the gym. This will help with the glute gains. This will help your butt get bigger, your legs, like your your full body will just look really good. So creatine is like a staple. Creatine should be a staple of everybody's weightlifting, bodybuilding, fitness supplement stack. It's a staple of mine. I always make sure that I have creatine in my supplement cabinet. I don't go without it. I don't cycle off. I don't do that. You don't need to, okay? 
Do you need to do a loading phase? You don't have to, you can. And if you do load, I would say take like 10 grams per day for one week. And then after that, just five grams a day. And that's all you really need. I've been on creatine for the past six months, like consistently, consistently I've been on creatine. Actually, I've been on creatine for the past eight months consistently now. And it keeps me on point. Like it keeps me on point. It helps, it helps with my everyday living, not only in the gym, because remember I told you it helps you stay sharp too. So whenever I'm doing work, when I'm, whenever I'm doing work at home or when I go out to do work, that helps me. Yeah, if you have an injury, take creatine. It will help you. I would say if you have an injury, mix creatine with some BCAAs, so branch chain amino acids. Uh, make sure you're taking glutamine also. You know, if your BCA supplement has glutamine in it, awesome. Okay, that's what you want to do if you have an injury also, whatever it, it may be like rotator cuff, which I'm like, I tore my rotator cuff. It was like a decently bad tear. It wasn't like, it wasn't completely torn off the bone, but it was, it was close. It was a really bad tear. I did that like a few years ago. And then what, two weeks, two weeks ago, I had a minor tear on my rotator cuff again, bro. Just going hard, taking creatine, making sure that I'm good with that, making sure that I'm I'm resting so i actually haven't been working upper body for the past two weeks two weeks two and a half weeks i haven't done upper body at all right now i'm just training legs and abs and that's really it and i haven't even i haven't been boxing either because i don't want to exert too much force with my upper body i'm really feeling my rotator cuff it's not nothing happened to the front this time because last time it was like the whole thing but it's now just the back okay so i'm really feel even right now just touching it you know i'm really really feeling it so i for the past two and a half weeks i haven't stretched or anything today was my first day stretching for it and i didn't go too crazy with it i've been icing it pretty much every night went into the um went into the steam room today had some heat therapy so i'm taking my time healing man because i want to come back stronger and better and while i'm working on my legs I could build like a really, really good base. I want to be super symmetrical, you know, on some Joe Andrews type shit, like crazy legs come together with my crazy upper body. As soon as I start training upper body again, I'm going to slowly get into it again and um, go from there. But yeah, that's creatine for you. Six star creatine, really cheap creatine. If you want to get super, super cheap creatine, go with this super cheap creatine. That's going to last you a long time. There's also the other option at Walmart. I It's not six star. That's not the last one I got. I couldn't find the last one I got because that's usually at the other Walmart that's in my city. I had to go to this one because I was, it was just closer actually. So it was really just proximity and it's from Equate. That's what it is. The Walmart brand Equate. Their creatine is like $16 depending on where you live. In California here at Walmart, 16 bucks after taxes in south carolina i remember i used to take it from there too when i used to live in south carolina that cost me about like 12 dollars after taxes something like that so depending on where you live the price will change but it's always going to be in that 12 you know what i'm going to say it's always going to be from that 10 to 16 dollar price range for the equate and then for this i'm going to say it's going to be 16 to 22 dollar price range for the six star brand depending on where you live okay so this is pretty good cheap supplement if you have nothing else you know if you don't have much cash to like get other things go with this this is all you really need i'm not gonna lie to you if you can get anything i say get this first and then if you can afford like vitamins and stuff like that like vitamin b b12 you know d vitamin d d3 um zinc magnesium calcium and get a vitamin a multivitamin because the multivitamin doesn't always come with all the vitamins i just named vitamins and this bro you're good you don't really need anything else at all and yeah all the other stuff is just extra stuff you know especially if you're super young like all the other stuff is just it's just extras, okay? So there are other supplements that help you a lot. Like I talk about Fiducia, Aggressus, Tonkat Ali, but 
I'd say with Fedoja Agresses, Tone God Ali, don't worry about it until you're at least like 21 years old. Don't worry about that. You know, you don't you don't really need that. You know, don't worry about that until you're like 21 and you will thrive on that type of stuff. You know, so yeah, get this before anything. All right. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Peace out, guys.